New tonight, a special meeting to talk about the effects of the Klamath River Dam removal was held in Montague today. NBC 5's Lauren Pareto drove down to see how the Klamath River Renewal Corporation is responding to the public's concerns. I'm in front of the Copco Lake Community Center where the County of Siskiyou is holding a special meeting today for its Board of Supervisors discussing the Klamath River Renewal Corporation's project. KRRC says there's two main benefits of removing the dams, to improve water quality for fish and to open up about 400 miles of historic habitats. This is the largest dam removal in the history of the nation and some people have not been happy with how it's been turning out. This is not what we were sold. This is horrible, what's happening. The most devastating thing I have ever seen in my life. Many concerns were brought up during the meeting, such as the mud, water quality, housing, wildlife safety, recreation, and more. One of the largest concerns raised was if dangerous materials are present in the remaining water. Some folks presented reports saying metals like chromium, barium, lead, and more were found at high levels in the Klamath River. I wouldn't swim in that river with the chromium and the heavy metals that's in there. At the time of the meeting, neither the county nor KRRC had seen those reports showing metals in the water. The CEO of KRRC, Mark Bransom, says they do test the water for a number of attributes. We are monitoring for other parameters besides the, the nature of the, the soil and, and sediment itself. So there are... Uh, tests for at least one metal. Many people are also worried about the aquatic wildlife. Michael Harris of the California Department of Fish and Wildlife reaffirms KRRC's standpoint that the amount of silt in the water is temporary. He says with some time, the Klamath River will be a great environment again for native fish. You'll have a situation where salmon will be able to come up, spawn, their juveniles will rear and go back out to the ocean. Speaking of the water, another main concern was people's wells, specifically those wells drying up. We can't even use our cabin because the well is dry. The well uh, feeds on 11 other houses, and now it's completely dry. KRRC says they've provided water tanks to refill these wells. They also say some of these concerns could have been avoided with a little bit more help from the community. If we had been able to enroll more people in that program, and better build out the, the, the program and the monitoring network, I believe we would have had better information that perhaps would have allowed us to address some of the issues that we're seeing in these two wells. While the long-term outlook was pointed to often, many residents expressed sorrow as they believe they won't be alive by the time positive change rolls around. I sincerely hope the science is correct, though most of us will not live long enough to even see it. Bransom says he hopes people will be able to change their tune with a little patience. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that with the passage of some time, we're going to start to see the positive results. In Montague, Lauren Preto, NBC5 News.